Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on transferring a pre-animated camera in 3ds Max to a native cine camera in Unreal Engine 5. This workflow is essential for ensuring cinematic quality in your projects and in such way you will have a full control on the camera path that you have created. So before we start, I'll ask the ones that haven't done this so far to hit that subscribe button and join our community of creators. This way you won't miss out on any new tutorials, industry secrets or creative tips and tricks that will take your skills to a new level. So the first step that we should make is ensure that our animated camera in 3ds Max is ready for export. If you are not familiar with all the possibilities and how to animate your cameras in 3ds Max we have made a video for you on this topic. I will leave a link in the description. So this is our scene and as you see I have animated a camera by using two splines, one for the camera itself and one for the target. I have used path constraint for the animation and before we export the camera we should check that our animation is complete and plays smoothly and correctly in the timeline. You should double check the keyframes and the camera path for any possible errors. Everything looks perfect. So next we'll need to download a plugin from the internet, I'll leave the link in the description, you just click here to download the plugin, uh, no matter that it's stating Unreal Engine 4, it works perfectly in Unreal Engine 5 as well. So what you have to do is just extend extract the zip folder and you have this macro script tool just drag and drop it in your viewport then go to customize toolbars under category we view tools you'll find the unreal engine for camera camera baking tool if you want you can create a button for it as well. So I'll just press the X key to make the search utility and type Unreal Engine and I'll find the tool. So the way it works is you pick your camera like this and it creates a new free camera for you and bakes every frame to a single key. So just press here clone and bake new camera and here it is the new camera and all the keys are baked as you see don't mind that it's looking like uh, in other in other direction it will come into unreal engine perfectly so what we have to do now is export it go to file export export selected then navigate uh, to the place that where you want to save your camera rename it and press save here what you have to check is uh, animation and cameras everything else leave as default then press ok don't mind the the errors, press OK and you have exported your camera here it is ok now let's jump into Unreal Engine so you can create a new project or open an existing one that you have then I will use my project then you can go to the content browser and let's create a new folder there I'll name it uh, imported camera
and here inside just right click go to cinematics and create a level sequence I'll rename it to imported camera 01 as this will be the first one then open it so now go to actions and import navigate to the folder and select your exported FBX make sure that all the ticks are selected and press import and this way you have imported your camera with all the animated keys let's go to frame 180 and let's snap this one here so now what we have to do is uh, match our field of view with the one that is in 3ds max as you see here is quite a big number so let's fix this one let's check the one in 3ds max so as you see it's 65.2 let's change it just type here 65.2 and let's go to our first frame and change it again 65.2 now let's play the animation and ensure that it matches the original from 3ds max just hit the space button you can find tune further your video by playing with the lens settings or the focus distance you can add some motion blur or some lens effects to further polish your video and that's it we have successfully transferred an animated camera from 3ds max to a native cine camera in unreal engine if you found this tutorial helpful and you want more tutorials on unreal Please like the video and leave a comment below. We would very much appreciate it. Thank you for watching. If you did enjoy anything in this video, then drop a like and a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up next that you don't wanna miss. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.